2023 presidency. I am not scared of Jonathan, Nigerian governor says as he picks APC's 100 million naira form. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. I have the presidential primaries of the ruling All Progressives Congress APC. Governor Yaya Bello has purchased the APC 100 million naira presidential form. After this move, the Kogi governor disclosed he is not scared of being in the race with former President Goodluck Jonathan and others. Bello made the Bello made the statement after two seven governors declared their full support for Jonathan's remote presidential bid. Governor Yaya Bello of Kogi State has said he is not afraid of former President Gulong Jonathan or any other presidential aspirant on the platform of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, report, news report. Jonathan has the backing of two governors and many other stakeholders of the APC to defer to the ruling party and pick the party's presidential ticket for the 2023 poll, according to sources. But in an interview with used men at the APC National Secretariat on Wednesday, April 27th in Abuja, shortly after obtaining his forms to run for the presidency, Governor Bello said such developments is the beauty of democracy. He affirmed, In democracy, anybody can support anyone, but I'm assuring you that our great party, the APC, is a party that has its own ethics, rule, and regulations, and I know surely that all of these are in my favor, and I am not in any way scared of the pedigree of anyone whatsoever. Bello added that his worth of experience and governance will speak for him ahead of the party's presidential primary scheduled to hold in the month of May 2022 and the 2023 elections. In other news, Yaya Bello speaks about MK Ozebiodo's life legacy, planned for his family once he becomes president. Governor Yaya Bello promised to ensure the legacies of the late M.K. Owabiola do not go to West. Bello made the promise shortly after he made the declaration to run for the presidency in the 2023 general election. According to Bello, he will deliver all that Abiola planned for Nigeria to every Nigerian across the board. Half-Sat Abiola, a daughter of the late M.K. Owabiola, has revealed why she accepted to lead the presidential campaign of Governor Bello. According to her, the, co the go Kogi state governor has the qualities needed to take Nigeria to the right destination. She said one of the similarities between her late father and Governor Bello is the refusal to have political godfathers. 2023 full list of presidential experience across political parties. In other news, as the 2023 presidential election approaches, a lot of politicians from various political parties are probably indicating their interest to take over President Mohamed Barry's seat at Asa Rock Villa. In other news, 2023 Nigerian governor pays 100 million for APC presidential forms. It is believed that some persons are still wearing the chances and while at it, they are presently making consultation with stakeholders and supporters. At the moment, there are not less than 41 presidential aspirants from the political platforms like the All Progressives ABC, the PDP, the ADC, the PRP, the SDP, the APGA, the AP and AAC. In another news, two APC PDP governors who are willing to drop their presidential ambition for Jonathan in 2023. Some politicians are willing to make a U-turn in their decision to contest on the forthcoming general elections. This is that two seven governors have decided to drop the ambition for the former president of Nigeria, Goodluck Jonathan. Meanwhile, Governor Bala Mohammed of Bacha State and Governor Ben Ayade of Cross River State explained why they are willing to drop from the 2023 race. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, two seven governors from the All Progressive Congress APC and the People's Democratic Party PDP have said that they may drop their presidential ambition if former President Goodluck Jonathan joins the race. 
amid speculation that a former leader, Jonathan, would emerge as president. So, Governor Yaya Bello is saying he's not scared of uh, anyone in the APC, including Jonathan. And he's saying that he's counting on the fact that he, <laughs> that his time as governor, his experience. And I'm asking, what experience? I mean, everybody knows that Kogi State, Kogi people, they cannot say that this man has been their man, has been their state builder. It's not possible. I mean, these politicians keep coming out to shoot themselves on the leg with the kind of um, statements they make. What experience? His experience as governor that is below, that is a performance that is below average, that is coming out to rant about. <laughs> then in other news, some people in the PDP, I mean, some people in the APC, that those who defected from the PDP to the APC are saying they are going to be stepping down for for. Good luck, Jonathan. That's the PDP. If he comes in and if he declares. To me, I'm saying all those issues. Eh, it baffles me that in time like this in Nigeria, where their spirits are supposed to be making use of the disadvantages of the country, hmm? it's even very easy for them to sell themselves to us. For them to come out and say, you know what? I am coming in and this is the sector I am going to be focusing on or these are the sectors what this for this particular sector this is the problem this is solution this is how we are going to be working with the solution this is this is another solution to the same problem we are going to use it to run from this time to this time help us to see the Nigeria you so want to create that is why we association of Electorates are coming out to say these people coming out to pay as much as 100 million naira for the form. Even the governor of Kogi State, who is not even paying his salaries, he's not paying his workers, he's not paying them, and even when he does pay them, he slashes their money. He comes out to pay, and he's bragging that they're going... <laughs> In fact, these people, they, they don't have conscience. These people, they are, this is the perfect timing for them to sell themselves to us. In fact, they don't even need to do much. All they need to do before now is to have gather their research, make their research, make sure that they have solutions, and voila, they have it. But even those who are aspiring, they're not even taking advantage of the situation. And even those who are already in government, they're not coming out to say what this particular government is. I mean, they're not coming out to, to treat the issues on ground. Everybody, all eyes are on on the 2023 elections. No minding if we are not secure. I keep asking myself, with the level of insecurity in Nigeria, would the election hold in the air, in the land, or in the sea? Because those places, bandits have already invaded. Was it not Kaduna Airport? Was it not the train? It is only the sea left. Maybe you're going to be holding this year's election on the sea. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.